Hey guys, Kate here, aka Wanderlusting Lawyer, and I'm back with another backpack review. I hope you guys have been enjoying these, and they've been informative, and I've been able to strike the right balance between making them a bit shorter, but also being detailed. Um, so today I have my, the last Osprey pack that I ordered. This is the Mira AG34. And I was immediately attracted to this bag when I saw it online because it seemed to me the most like a regular backpack in terms of all of the compartments that it has. It just seemed like it'd be really easy to load and to find places to put things, but also keep them separate so that on the trail, not everything has to come out when you wanna find something. Um, this is a 34 liter pack, as I said, and I actually forgot to weigh it, so I will do that with you guys here. This is my little tool. I'll tell you what it comes in at. 2.4 pounds, so yeah, this is a nice lightweight pack, especially considering the um, really, Pretty rigid structure you have with these metal poles. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they give a lot of structure to this bag. Um, like all Osprey packs, it has the um, stow and go um, loops on the backpack straps so that you can put your poles in when you're on the trail, but I don't see any on the front. Um, it also does come with its own rain cover. It's a bright green color, just like the other one. Um, and has just really a lot of attachment points. This is for a reflector light. Um, you can put your bike helmet in here. I mean, so this isn't even the front stuff pocket. You have your front stuff pocket down here, which is a little bit smaller, but it doesn't matter because you also have this extra pocket here. And that's not even in the interior of the bag. You also have this big pocket here with a key clip and some mesh compartments for storing things. So yeah, you'd find places for everything in this bag. So maybe in that sense, it's not absolutely necessary for the Camino because you have things in a couple of stuff sacks, but um, I do love the organization of this bag. So before I show you the main compartment, I'll show you the back. So the first thing you can notice is this is the first time that with me, you've seen an Osprey pack that has really the suspended trampoline style back that allows you to um, have this rest on your back, all the heat escape, and um, have no real pressure points that can be touching and rubbing your back um, in a way that's you know uncomfortable or annoying. You also, with this pack, do get a hydration pack included. So that is a really nice feature because I think they're fairly expensive, especially a really good one like this from Osprey. And um, as you'll see when I show you and I put the bag on, in the chest strap it does have a magnetic attachment point for the hose. Or, yeah. I think it's an internal reservoir. I'll have to double check when I open the pack, but I don't see any place to access it from the back. Maybe that's this pouch. Oh, yep, yeah, just kidding. It is external, um, and you do have... Wow, guys. So yeah, this has so many pockets. You do have um, extra room in there if needed, but it also creates just its really great own separate um, area. And as you can see, here's what the pouch looks like. It looks like it's very easy to unclip, unattach, and just fill up on the trail. And it looks like it's amazing quality. So if you're looking for a bag that has just great value with the rain cover, knowing you're gonna wanna use a hydration pouch, um, this is definitely a really terrific option. Um, so let's get it uh, opened up and loaded up so I can show you um, kind of how I would store everything. So this is the hydration pouch. So here we go. This is the, you might get a little bit of losses. Oh, and another pocket I forgot. They call this a scratch-free phone or sunglasses pocket. It has this special uh, material that is supposed to be really non-abrasive. And even that is pretty roomy. So the number of pockets on this is just pretty incredible and then you just have your main storage here um so this in addition to having the hydration pouch uh pocket you also have this extra pocket if you want to keep something separate but it doesn't go all the way down um so maybe like a small tablet or an e-reader or something like that would be great there all right so let's get this loaded up and i'll talk to you about the fit the straps 
and uh, the water bottle pockets, you do have two of those, and they have both an excellent side access and uh, a top axis, and they're a little bit lower, so I do like that, but um, no problem with getting hydrated on the trail with this pack. So yeah, we're gonna, just for fun, kinda test out, load it up with uh, using the different pockets. Let's put a, maybe, tablet. So you can even fit, this is a, a nook, and that'll even fit in the scratch-free pocket. Put my inflatable pillow in there. On this front pocket, maybe I'll put my day, my day pack and my travel book and my almonds and then head and and then so and then you do have these straps that allow you to secure it down so it shouldn't be wobbling when you're out there um and then I'll, we'll go back to the main compartment and i will put in my sandals and my i guess first aid kits so even though it is top loading it's because it only opens from up here, I mean, even though it's not top loading and it's more of a zipper backpack style, you don't have any access from the bottom. So in that sense, you're still going to be pulling things out if you need them, but because there are so many pockets, it should allow you to plan ahead um, to know where to put things for the day on the trail. And so what I like about this is that I could use this front stuff pocket for you know my extra shirt layer and then this middle kind of stuff pocket for a jacket so as you can see the way i have it packed out it it does come out but some people find that they like the way that 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 the weight is better with that than if it goes up so that's just something to keep in mind now I'll put on the pack so i do want you guys to see that with this hip belt so it's pretty structured um so if it doesn't you know, it's not gonna fit too big of waist. So it's not a lot of flexibility in that sense. And you also don't have an adjustable torso like the other Osprey packs we've looked at. So I say, this bag is definitely more of, it's either going to fit you like a darn glove or it's not. And in my case, as you'll see, unfortunately, despite all the amazing features, so you really have to pull these around. Um, it just doesn't really work for me. Um, I, I'll have to go back and look at the size that I ordered. Uh, I think it was for my, it was definitely the bigger one, so it was for my torso. But what I found, so the hip belt is, is I like where it is right now, but then when I pull up the straps to get them where they're supposed to be, I find the hip belt starts to pull up. And it just sits at like a, a pretty high level. And yeah, I have this packed out pretty heavy that way. But there, this is how you're going to basically have to wear this pack because there isn't a lot of vertical room. So just, you should think about how you're actually going to pack this pack. So let's look at the water bottle pockets. I mean, that to me, this is probably the best one I've seen so far. But I mean, it's not in my way, it's not bothering me. So easy to get in and out right around the trail. And you also, like I said, do have this hose here. You do lose, sadly, your whistle here. Um, so if that's something you you love, you don't have one, but you could buy one for probably a buck. But yeah, so the, the thought is that you would keep your hose here. It's out of your way. And then when you need a drink, you just pull it up, take a sip, put it back. So that's a really nice feature. Um, and you can also, let's see how the top loadability is. I'd say that's very easy too you just oh that's a strap <laughs> there it is you just got to come around the back this way so all in all i think the water features of this bag are great but as you can see this is already pulled up where this is basically on the top of my hips so for my torso this bag just wouldn't work but i'd say for a smaller frame where you want more of a traditional backpack style this would be an awesome bag let's look at the pockets these are the worst Osprey pockets of all the bags. I cannot get it zipped alone. So basically you have to reach back so that you can hold this part and kind of close it. That to me, it, it honestly puts strain on your shoulders. So that to me is a huge design flaw. 
Also, these pockets are kind of small. This is a size 7 phone case. And uh, I guess I can get it in there. But in terms of ease on the trail of in and out, it's not there. Um, as for other things, you certainly fit uh, your snacks, your Swiss Army knife, your chapstick. Um, and you do have a sunglasses strap. Well, that's what I call it here as well. So I guess the takeaways with this pack are it's amazing to stay hydrated on the trail. It's a great value with the rain cover and the hydration pack already included. Probably for smaller torsos because with my 18 inch torso, it's, uh, it's pulling up, but it's also, if you're gonna wanna use all the pockets, it's gonna extend out. And so I don't think it carries the weight as well as some of the other packs. So this, might be less so for a Camino, but more so for like a daily commute where you have a bunch of stuff um, or backpack or um, biking perhaps, where maybe the weight is can sit a little bit more like this. So hey, it could be a great biking, for those who are biking the Camino, this could be a great option. But I hope this was helpful and you guys are enjoying these videos. Have a great day.